In this video, you'll see how to integrate Okta with AWS Single Sign-On, or AWS SSO, in an AWS Control Tower environment. With this solution, you can manage users and groups in Okta, replicate their access into AWS SSO using System for Cross-Domain Identity Management, or SKIM, and automatically synchronize users and roles between Okta and AWS. For the purposes of this example, our Control Tower-enabled environment with accounts structured with AWS organizations has already been set up and is ready to integrate with Okta. As you can see, we've already subscribed to Okta in AWS Marketplace. In order to integrate Okta and Control Tower with automatic user provisioning, we must first configure AWS SSO to use Okta as an external identity provider. We'll use these AWS SSO metadata values as credentials when we integrate with our Okta app. Let's use SAML 2.0 as the sign-in method. We'll name the app and proceed. Next, we'll paste in the relevant metadata from AWS SSO to configure the integration. Let's use email address as the name ID format and complete the setup process. Next, let's find this application's identity provider metadata. Let's save this data in Notepad and upload it to AWS SSO. We'll accept the consequences and change the identity source to Okta. Next, let's enable automatic provisioning. We'll copy the skim endpoint and access token for use in Okta and paste these values in a file for easy retrieval later. Let's browse the Okta app integration catalog for a skim application that automatically pushes users and groups from Okta to AWS SSO. Let's add this one. We'll label the application, select each of these options, and complete the initial setup process. Now let's go to the Provisioning tab and configure the API integration. We'll paste in the skim endpoint and access token we copied from the AWS SSO portal. Let's enable the option to create users. Next, let's create a rule to push groups to AWS SSO through SKIM. Let's name the rule and apply it to any groups beginning with AWS SSO. Next, let's navigate to the Directory tab and create a new group for AWS users. Let's drill down into this new group and assign apps to it. We'll assign AWS SSO and the Skim app. Next, let's create another group called AWS SSO Power Users. Here's the group we just made. Since its name begins with AWS SSO, it should automatically be pushed to AWS SSO through SKIM by the rule we created earlier. Let's check. As you can see, the group is here as well, and it has been pushed. Let's make sure we can find it in AWS SSO. Here's the AWS SSO Power Users group we created in Okta. Let's drill down. Notice that there are currently no users in the group. Before adding users, let's navigate to our AWS accounts to assign a permission set to this group. Let's select all the accounts and assign the AWS SSO Power Users group to them.
will give the group the AWS Power User Access permission set. Now that we've assigned permissions, let's return to Okta to create a user for the group. This user will belong to both of the groups we created. Let's return to AWS SSO and find the user there. Here's the user we created. Let's drill down. As you can see, the user was created by Skim. Let's confirm that the user is authenticated and has access to the AWS SSO portal. The portal URL connects to the Okta portal because it's using an external identity. Let's log in as this user. Here we can see that the user has permissions for our three AWS accounts. Let's confirm that the user can log into them. As you can see, this user has successfully accessed AWS using federated login. You've just seen how to integrate Okta with AWS SSO in an AWS control tower environment. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.